What's up guys? Welcome back. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Will Beck. I'm a mobile filmmaker and videographer here in Charlotte County, Florida. And today I want to go over the three lighting, three lighting options that you have for mobile filmmaking that's not going to break your budget and it's going to light up any scene that you could possibly ever want to do. And believe it or not, even for your mobile filmmaking studio, you can light anything, but I don't want to get too far into that just yet. What I want to do first is introduce you to the top three lighting options that you have to light up any scene that you want and so I can help you get on your way to mobile filmmaking. As we already know, lighting is one of the most important elements of videography and photography. Right? Smash like if you agree with that. Now, obviously we got audio and then you got your camera, but arguably if you can't light your scene, you can't get your full potential out of your smartphone. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Now the first one I'm going to be talking about is the one I'm actually using right now. It's set up on my mobile rig as we speak. That's what I'm recording on with my smartphone. I've had to actually take this to a VND5. I'm using the Polar Pro VND filter number five. I'm out in broad daylight and I'm sitting under, I know you can't see it right now, I'm sitting under a shade canopy because personally I don't want to have light bouncing all over the place so that way I can look right at the camera and I'm totally fine I have the panel pro right up underneath here attached this is my favorite one to have period like I said we have the panel pro now this is a CRI rating of 96 plus along with the aperture MC this is Samtian Samtian I don't know how you're saying that Samtian but these folks over here went ahead and shipped me one for free just to go ahead and review. If you like that little introduction that I filmed with the hologram and everything else, I actually used that, the Samtian one. Now, this has got a CRI, CRI rating of 95 plus. So, these are both 360 degree RGB adjustable lights, okay, by color. And it takes both of them, I wanna say, both of these, the Aperture and the LumCube Panel Pro, they both take about an hour and a half to charge up fully, okay, using a USB-C cord. This one, I love to use as a backup light anywhere, the Aperture MC. This is purple, and if, if you look, this is really cool too. It has a little display on the top. I'm hoping you can see that all right. And what you do is you just click this little wheel, to saturation you can adjust the saturation intensity lower higher hue and look at that I'm just going to change it all up green yellow orange all right blue that's freaking awesome right and then if you come into it right you click and hold you can even do FX and this is the cop car one this is kind of neat right I don't want to hear about any of you guys rolling around town with this thing in the back pulling practical jokes. That's how you end up hemmed up and then you can't watch any more of my videos. Don't do that. However, it is pretty cool, right? If you're lighting a cop car scene and like, I don't know. I don't know if you can see it right now. I've got the intensity down pretty, pretty well, but at the moment it looks like I got in trouble. I am at a skate park. Skateboarding is not a crime. Remember that. Smash like if you've ever seen that t-shirt before. But this is a cop car. There's all sorts of stuff. Fire, um, pulsing, party, lightning, all of that. And then, of course, you can adjust the intensity on that. Um, CCT is really awesome because from here, you can go all the way down from 3200 Kelvin. And as you can see real time, we're all the way up to 6500 Kelvin, right? So this is literally going to light up any scene that you could possibly want, and it's magnetic, right? It does have a stainless steel thread, so you can put it onto a friction arm or a ball head. This is one that I got from Small Rig, right? You spin it around a couple times, and here, you're good to go. You can light up any scene that you want, right? You can't argue with that. So that's the Aperture MC. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't kill my battery. I do like the panel pro more and the reason why is because of this light shaping kit i left the honeycomb at the house 
and the pouch. However, I do have the barn doors open, or <laughs> yeah, the barn doors open, okay? It's on there right now, so I can shape the light a little bit because I have a lot of light behind me to the side. I'm shooting at broad daylight, and I just want to focus that light so we can record. Here I am banging into stuff. Now, to be completely transparent, the Samchian, I'm gonna show you the back of it real quick. Here we go. There's no display screen at all. You just have a couple dials to adjust the intensity, as you can tell. There's no colors, so all you have is light and temperature, intensity and temperature. Now, this does have a 3000 milliamp uh, capacity for the battery with a temperature, uh, temperature range of 2500 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. How true is that? I don't know, I don't have a light meter. But with that being said, the entire scene was lit up actually using these three lights. The rig that I have, I could easily mount this anywhere. Like I said, it's magnetic. Little small rig mount right here. I can mount this, mount this thing anywhere. Just like this bad man pajama, right? Mount them anywhere and you, you won't be disappointed. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. These are the three lights that I'm going to swear by forever, forever. I don't see any reason to get anything else. I don't need a fancy light that completely eliminates the whole minimalist vlogging setup. I wanted to give y'all a real, real time, unedited results. The Santian, even though they sent this to me for free to review for like an Amazon review or whatever, and I wrote them a nice one. However, what I wrote in there, I would really like to see an LED display. I wanna know what color or what Kelvin, right? I wanna know what Kelvin that I'm shooting at. This Panel Pro by LumCube, this is my absolute favorite second runner up this one comes with a pouch this one comes with a pouch too mm, it's nice and felt and it feels nice on the face this one's more rugged and get little sticky tapes so we can like velcro it to stuff right we love that so anyways i don't want to waste any more of your time guys i really appreciate y'all coming out and checking out and supporting the channel smash like hit the subscribe button and stay tuned if you'd like me to go further in de detail on any of these right here by all means drop drop me a note in the comments and don't forget to hit the links in the description to check them out even more in fuller detail and see which one's best for you anyways without further ado love you guys